everyone, what's up? It's me, Micah, and welcome to my Get Ready With Me video. So yes, guys, you heard it right. It is going to be another Get Ready With Me. I actually haven't done one of these videos in a hot minute, so I'm really excited to do one today. So I asked you guys two questions over on my Instagram, and we are going to discuss and answer your answers and some of your questions. Did that even make sense? Before we begin with the video, I would just like to clarify that this video will be filled with my opinions. After all, this is my channel, this is my video. So yeah, let's start getting ready. I will start with the Garnier Micellar Water. This is meant for sensitive skin. Because I used it one for oily and acne prone skin. I really like this guys because this doesn't just act as a makeup remover but it can also be a really mild toner just to cleanse the skin basically. Next up, I will use my Evian Facial Spray. I really love this. I'm on my second big bottle just because I think that this is a necessity. It makes my skin feel so healthy. And now my face is super wet. Honestly guys, I struggle ko every time I use this before putting on my makeup because it takes so much time to dry up. So my first question to you guys over on Instagram is ano yung naging positive and negative effects sa inyo ng social media? I got quite a lot of answers and I'm really happy about them as well. So this one from Andrea, I really like her answers kasi nagbigay siya ng positive and negative side of it. Sabi niya, a little of both. On the positive side, I am able to express myself and showcase or appreciate creativity. But on the negative side, sometimes it leads to spending way too much time on it or feeling insecure by what others post online. I totally agree with you, Andrea, like 100%. So she said, yung positive nga na she is able to express herself. I agree na it's nice that we get to express ourselves and now people are more aware about racism, political issues, and cultural responsibilities and all that. Definitely, social media has its pros and cons when it comes to this topic. And on the the negative side, she said that it leads you to spending so much time on it. I agree. I feel like at times I get so, so unproductive because I just can't seem to take my eyes off my phone. Like, I'm so focused on it, scrolling through like videos, Facebook, or like other people's photos on Instagram. Like, I'm led from one profile to another. Parang ganun. That's why now I'm starting to pick up some of my books or like to go through articles instead because. I feel like it's really not nice now we're just constantly looking at other people's profiles, their photos. Magiging inevitable for us to compare ourselves and want that kind of lifestyle. I'm gonna tackle more about that later on, but for now, hey, I forgot about you know getting ready with you guys. Let's move on to foundation. For foundation, I'm gonna use this Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. Galing nito guys, kasi kapag talaga yung packaging niya. And then there's a concealer na here at the top, so mahaka. Tipid ka rin if you wanna use that. You know what, guys? There you go. Isn't that better? Anywho, di ba nga sinabi ni Andrea, you spend so much time on it or you start feeling insecure about what other people post because again, you spend so much time looking at other people's lives that you start envying them. I feel like that is the side effect of it. Pero sa totoo lang ah, kagabi nga, um, Christian and I were talking about that na kunyari, si Heart Evangelista, like she is such an icon guys. I love her so much. I love her channel. I love how it's so well done. I love how classy she is. I love her bags. I love bags. <laughs> but at the same time, because she is classy and people have given her that kind of title, now people are gonna start to think that in order for you to be classy, in order for you to, you know, look expensive, you have to have the same lifestyle as Heart of Angelista, even if you cannot afford it. Pero kasi, hindi naman nila kasalanan yun, di ba? Na nagpo-post sila ng ganon. Because the whole point of social media is, like what Andrea mentioned, Number one, for you to express yourself and for you to express yourself, like on Instagram, you're gonna have to show what your lifestyle is like, the things that you have, the places you go to. However, at the same time, that is the negative effect of social media because we're merely human and we are bound to feel all those emotions. We are gonna get jealous or we are gonna wanna have that kind of lifestyle because that is what we see, that's what people praise, that's what people like. And to be honest, this is not 
even just social media. I remember there was a time that I was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Tuloy tuloy kasi lang pinapanood as in non-stop kasi lang pinapanood. Pero I had to stop at one point. Like I had to stop myself because I found myself wanting the kind of lifestyle that they have. And do you realize how bougie their lifestyle is because they can afford it? No shade on people who can afford those things and people who are like that. But if you can't, and ganun yung paulit-ulit mong pinapanood sa utak mo, you're really gonna want it. Ako hindi na naman ako super easily swayed. Pero diba, like what I had mentioned, if you keep watching the same things about luxury, about a lifestyle that you can't afford, or about, you know, having the kind of body that you want but you don't, having the kind of face that you want but you don't, it just it morphs your mind into thinking that that is what's beautiful that is what's cool that is what's in and i have to do the same thing i have to be the same person i have to look like that person so ayun diba ang dami ko nang sinabi congratulations to <laughs> another one from shadow mayor sabi niya positive knowledge and memes <laughs> I agree. Knowledge, definitely. There are so many things that I learn from social media, even from listening to different podcasts or um, like preaching videos, mga ganon. And memes, hello. Who doesn't like memes? Come on, I feel like everybody loves memes. So parang nakakatao kaya. And sabi niya, negative, toxic community. Oh my gulay, nakalimutan ko mag primer. Wala na, wala na tayong magagawa dyan. Anyway, okay, before we continue, I'm gonna use the concealer from the same brand. I guess toxic in a way because there are so many opinions flying all over social media. But yeah, I think it's toxic in many different ways as well. Do comment down below if you think social media can get toxic and how it affects you as a person. Sabi naman dito ni Areni Villegas, took out the creativity in Oh, that's so sad. I think it's bound to happen, even to creators like me. That's why as much as possible, I try to stay away from watching YouTubers who have quite the same content as I do. So I guess that's a negative, another negative on social media. It does kind of suck out the creativity in you. Either you get insecure or you like other people's content so much that it, ins it inspires you to the point that it becomes who you are. For powder, I'm gonna use my favorite, Naturactor Powder Foundation. This is in the shade 2. I really really like this one because sobrang ganda ng coverage nito guys. And super nakukuha niya yung color ng skin ko. Another one from Pinina Carlos. I really really like this one. Um, even if you're real on social media and low-key, people still want to openly judge you. That is so true. I don't know why it's like that. Like you're not even saying so many things. You're not even posting so much. But people will always have something to say. No matter how positive you are, people will always have something to say. And it's just really, really sad. Kahit gano ka kabait, no? Wala, wala lahat yan. As in, wala yung kabaitan na yan if yung katapat mo, social media, and iba-iba yung views in life. Another one from Angelica. I really love this girl's vibe. Honestly, girl, sobrang positive mo. Promise, I see your comments and your replies. Wala, sobrang nakaka-warm ng heart. Sabi niya, I see a lot of things that inspires me every day. I try not to dwell on the negative side of it. Diba, I think everyone should think like Angelica. Do not dwell on the negative side of things. Ito naman from Jules, the explorer. Sabi niya, sad how I was trying to reach the standards of some people because of social media. That's true also. I feel like people kind of expect something from you. Guys, people will always have standards, but iba-iba tayo ng journey. Iba-iba tayo ng Nagdadaanan. Some people may have it right away in the blink of an eye, overnight. If you're not there yet, you haven't reached your goal yet, don't you worry. I mean, and don't be so swayed and so scared about the standards of other people. You're probably thinking, my kandali ka sinun sabihin para sa yo. Yeah, it's 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 easy to say, pero personally naman, ako ni naman struggle ako dun. Pero if you isipin yo, hindi naman makakatulong if nagduel ka sa kung ano mga sinasabi nila. So yeah, just try to ignore. Think positive things, remind yourself who you're doing your work for, remind yourself that you're being excellent, remind yourself that you are in a season where God is still working on you. For now, learning season and that's fine because wouldn't you want to be full of wisdom when you get to your goal already? Sorry guys, I had to read an email for a little while. What happened to the light? 
let's get right back to my eyebrows so by the way i'm using my miniso eyebrow powder again because i don't use anything else guys Ito lang talaga. we are gonna move forward to another question that i asked over on my instagram and yung question na tinanong ko is if you have any <coughs> Influencer related question. Think nyo, I mean, my mouth is not allowing me to say influencer because gag. Am I the only one who cringes every time I hear the word influencer? I don't know, there's something about it that is very cringe worthy. I think I would accept social media personality, but influencer, like, really, how are you influencing the public? Is there something you're advocating for, something you're fighting for? Anywho, so I like this question from BLXGXRO. Tanong niya is, is being beautiful or aesthetically pleasing a requirement as an influencer? Like makeup, OOTD, etc. See, this brings us back to standards. I would be lying to you guys if I told you that you do not have to be all these things because that is the standard of social media. I really don't know how to answer this question. I hope that we come to a point where we don't need perfectly edited or perfectly filtered feeds in order to be considered an influencer because people are having these kinds of standards na you know you have to pose the right way look a certain way have the cert this certain type of body have this certain type of feed in order for you to influence someone no you know what if you have a hundred followers and you stand for let's say self-confidence and you love really encouraging people to love themselves more or anything relating to self-appreciation and you are able to affect one life and make a positive impact on that person then you are an influencer I mean Grab what this what society thinks and what their standards are because you are a true influencer. Anyways, you know what? I feel like I, I I didn't even dive so much through the other questions anymore. But I guess you know whether you have a big following or a small one on social media, think deeply if you mga sinasabi mo ba will help people or will it encourage people or will it simply make other people feel bad about themselves ayun lang simply that but yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that you have to be perfect on social media you have to do things the right way all the time it's okay to make mistakes from time to time but it's important for all of us including myself this is a reminder to me as well to be careful if you make a mistake learn from it start over don't do it again. Be better. There. So I'm just going to do my lashes off cam. Hold on. Oh, hey, I am back. My lashes are done. And wow, bakit ang, ang dark? Another one asked me, this is from Melanie Manguera. How and when did you start vlogging? Who motivates you to do this? How? I just really thought about kung ano yung totoong gusto kong gawin on YouTube and how that could help the people that will watch me. When? Like one and a half years ago, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And who motivates you to do this? I guess you guys motivate me. Sa, sa totoo lang, like I am truly motivated na gawin yung ginagawa ko because I know that you guys are still watching me and you guys are there supporting me. And that motivates me, that makes me feel good, that, that makes me want to vlog more, that makes me want to put out more content. And aside from that, I really like what I'm doing. I'm passionate about it. I love working on cam and I have a love-hate relationship with editing, but I try to look at it positively. And last but not the least that I'm going to answer as I do my contour, shout out to Tita Patty for giving me this super awesome Patrick Star in collaboration with MAC contour. Tanong sa akin ni It's Nicole Aragon is, as a vlogger, what cam do, would you recommend for beginners? And what cam are you using for your videos? Okay, so many people ask me this. I think kahit anong camera, if you really want to start vlogging and if you know that you have a passion for it, you know what you're gonna do, and you know how you're gonna use your channel, then use whatever you have. Pero if you have the means to buy a new camera, as far as I know, maganda ang G7X Mark II and Right now, I'm using the Canon M100. It works really well for me. 
this is what I've been using from ever since. So, like, I do not have a cam at home and like a vlogging camera separately. As in, ito lang talaga yung camera ko. Guys, I am done with my makeup. Sorry, I hurriedly did my blush and I put some setting spray on. That's why my face is wet looking. Anywho, okay, my, my camera is going to die. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much if you watched until the end of this video. I hope that you can also tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I would love to know about your opinions on the questions and what we've discussed on this video. I have never been so real and raw and to be able to connect with you guys in this level is just... Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. So yeah, if you guys like this video and if you want me to do more videos like this, then do give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you wanna get notified every time I post a new video. I'm going to host another giveaway, a really big one on my Instagram. That is at Luis Micah. But for now, you watched me, Michael Luis, and I cannot wait to see you again. Bye. Bye.